Probability Types of Distribution There are several probability distribution types used in the risk analysis. The most common probability distribution types are Triangle Uniform Normal Beta Pert Beta Pert Modified General Trajan Cumulative Discrete Enhanced in this lecture we will discuss how the Primavera Risk Analysis software generates these distributions. Triangle Distribution This distribution is commonly used to model the duration of a task. Requires minimum, maximum and most likely duration. Triangular distributions are often skewed to the left. This is because a lot of tasks cannot physically be completed in less than a certain duration, but all tasks can generally be delayed for any number of reasons. This leads to the minimum duration being closer to the most likely than the maximum duration. The mean value of a triangular distribution is given by minimum plus most likely plus maximum over 3. Uniform distribution used when only the extremes of uncertainty can be specified and where intermediate values have equal probability of occurrence or where no inference can be made as to the likely shape of the distribution requires minimum maximum duration normal distribution is generally used where historical data is available in this format it is often unrealistic as the distribution is symmetrical, not a common feature of task durations. The normal distribution is defined by its mean, remaining, duration and its standard deviation. Beta per distribution uses the parameters minimum, maximum and most likely duration suggests a greater confidence in the most likely duration. It can be used with a wide range between the minimum and maximum durations as the probabilities of hitting the extremes is a lot less than if using the triangular distribution. Beta Pert Modified Distribution The shape value allows you to make the distribution more or less optimistic. If the shape value is set to 4 the distribution is identical to the bet tapered distribution. Increasing shape value makes the graph more peaked. This effectively reduces the probability of the minimum and maximum durations being selected and increases the probability of the most likely duration. If you are optimistic about the most likely duration then use a shape value of greater than 4. If you are not so optimistic use a shape value less than 4. If you use a shape of 0, the minimum value, the distribution becomes uniform. That is the probability of the task being any value between the minimum and maximum duration is equal. If most likely minus minimum equals maximum minus most likely, then the shape parameter is ignored. General distribution allows an unlimited number of weighting value pairs to be entered to represent Trigen distribution may be used when it is considered that the extreme values given do not approach the perceived extremes you may assign a percentage value to those extremes cumulative distribution allows you to enter values where you may have, for example, a set of recorded historical data. Values are entered as the minimum and maximum and a series of value probability pairs. Discrete distribution The discrete distribution models those instances when the duration can have one of a number of values, but no intermediate values. That is a discrete rather than continuous distribution. The probability weights do not have to total 100%. They will be scaled appropriately. Enhanced 
the enhanced distribution creates a cumulative distribution from optimistic, most likely and pessimistic durations. Probabilities are entered for each. An extended minimum is calculated as and an extended maximum as. The extended minimum and maximum values are designed to model the possibility of the occurrence of values outside entered optimistic and pessimistic values. It is therefore similar to the Trigen distribution which is used when it is considered that the extreme values given do not approach the perceived extremes.